13 months before he died, Vincent van Gogh completed Starry Night. He was at the time admitted into an asylum after a psychotic episode involving a knife. And this was the view from his bedroom window. He used to take in the night sky and paint it from memory during the day. Somehow, Van Gogh was able to paint the turbulence in the night sky down to mathematical precision. This was a master with a turbulent mind. Imagine what Van Gogh could achieve with an almost limitless artificial mind. Upgrad Future Forward Stories from the now about the future Even though Homo sapiens have been around for about 200,000 years, they've only started thinking like the modern man about 60,000 years ago. Coincidentally, the first works of art appeared at the same time. Over the years, art has evolved in its definition, structure, form and mediums, but it has always been a more or less human territory. Let us meet the artists of an artificial persuasion. First on the list is Gan Go. Developed in Williams College as an independent research, Gan Go is actually our old friend Gans, again masquerading as an artificial Vincent Van Gogh. Van Gogh once said that he dreams his paintings and paints his dreams. There is one more artificial artist whose electric dreams reminisce in Japanese artwork. Ukiyo-e has created an entire dreamscape about the Edo period in Japan. But these are not the only ones raising eyebrows. These new breeds of artists are sprouting everywhere and painting is not the only medium affected by their triads. Next in line we have MuseGAN or Multi-Track Sequential Generative Adversarial Networks for Symbolic Music Generation. MuseGAN's dataset consists of over 100,000 bars of rock music. The results are encouraging, but it lacks a sort of X factor in its creations. For some of you who are of the classical persuasion, you need to check out Emily Howell, an obsessive project by composer David Cope. Emily Howell's creations are so haunting that you shudder to imagine her dreams. Emily has been trained on over 36 composers, starting from Palestrina to David Cope himself in the 21st century. Since its inception, Emily and David have had a more collaborative relationship. Cope will feed in a musical question and Cope will ask Emily a musical question, feeding in a phrase. Emily will respond with her own understanding of the question and what should follow. Depending on the suggestion, Cope will either accept or decline the solution, very much akin to composing naturally. So, since the 1950s, art schools have looked to the computer for a quick way to develop a breadth of skills. But it remained just that, a tool. However, the advancements in machine learning have changed all of that. The AI text generator GPT-2 by OpenAI is so realistic that it is actually a little scary for our writing team. It all boils down to the capacity of the machine to learn. The greater a machine's capacity to learn, however, the better its ability to adjust its learning algorithms to achieve certain goals. So what if, like humans, computers could become creative at will? Does that sound a little self-aggrandizing? Well, that segment was written by GPT-2. Here's some food for thought. We leave you with a succinctly written conclusion by GPT-2 itself. Artificial intelligence is becoming creative, self-improving, and adaptable. But the costs of this technology are still unknown. We simply don't know what creative consequences this type of technology will have on our society. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from Upgrad.